well, you know what? This is going to be a game of figuring out what the hell I'm going to do. Because honestly, I have a vague idea of what I'm doing, <laughs> as with any project I do. But let's just see where it goes from there. What's up, YouTube? Griever here, and today we are going to be modding the rival Saturn. Now, what I'm going to be doing to this is very similar to what I have actually already done to my takedown, and that is going to be putting my little Griever paint scheme on it and also upgrading the spring here. I have one more spring from Containment Crew, and that's going to be going into this thing. Now, in regards to the paint itself, um, actually, you know what? Let's just go to the workbench because I still have to open this up and I'll figure out the paint when we get to there. So let's go to the bench and start taking this apart. Okay, so yes, I know this is <laughs> my takedown, but my takedown already has a containment crew spring in it, which is part of the mod that we're gonna be doing on the Saturn here. So basically what I'm doing is I'm getting a FPS baseline off of this to see what we can get that up to or at least kind of set us a baseline of we want that to be performing as well as this because if it's not then there's really what's the point of modding it so okay that was a double feed because my hand's still all kind of janky Ah, uh, damn it, that was another double feed. Alright, well. Well, that was it, but we see what we're shooting at, so... We're looking for at least 130 out of this thing. So, let's see if we can go do that. Okay, so, everything is already opened up. And what you're going to want to do, especially when you're not sure 100% where everything is going to go back to, like, thankfully, the majority of all of this stuff here is all put together and you don't have to worry about it. But like the layering for all of this stuff back here, uh, you may want to take a picture of it just to see what lays what and goes where and all that kind of stuff. It's always a very helpful trick. Uh, I Here I have a cup with all of my screws in it. And here I have a cup with just the pump grip screws in it because I don't want to get those confused because 99% of all of the screws are the same size except for the two screws that go here and on the other side of the blaster. Those are much smaller and I don't want to get those lost in the mix of everything else. So, and the guts and the other good thing is there are no screws anywhere on the internals. Well, there is some here in here but we'll get to that you're not going to wind up removing them so it's fine so i'm going to start working at this and also it's a good thing to have is a plastic tray to put stuff in that is not getting painted so you don't lose anything so let's start splitting this thing up okay so quick note i have one side already separated up here we have the black undersiding of it the bottom highlighter yellow nastiness and this top piece now i was having some trouble trying to get these pieces separated and i want to say that this piece the, the bigger piece came off super easy because it's literally just two tabs one at the end and one right here which i would have been fine you know if need be if i needed to separate them off you know, I would have killed those because all of the screw ports are in here. If they don't have connector tabs, fine, whatever. Of course, the one piece that has only one screw port in it has all of the connector tabs. And damn you, Hasbro, because you glued literally two tabs. This one, and I don't know if you did or not, but this one was a pain in the ass to get, to get out. You can see here I kind of mangled it. But there is a tiniest tiniest piece of glue right there at 
one of the bottoms, which is, I believe, this clip right here. Thankfully, I had a thin enough screwdriver to where I just ran it across the edge and that popped the glue. I haven't tried the other side yet. Hopefully, I will not have that much trouble. But now I know where the trouble issues are. And looking at this side of the blaster itself, it is this uh, clip here and this clip here. Other than that, the clips shouldn't give you too much of a problem. But wanted to put that out there now. So let me get the rest of this separated up now. <laughs> Okay, so I've basically sanded down what I needed to. Uh, I haven't touched some of these. Um, I may wind up saying, I actually do have to stand the trigger still because that I definitely want to get some work on because, and the, uh, the safety switch because I always find if any gloss is always a pain to paint on especially vinyl dye because it will always wind up like beating up like it won't there's something usually on there uh if it has a texture on it usually it takes a little better so i'm fine with it i've sanded this sanded these pieces down with 220 then i went over it again with 400 and wiped everything down with rubbing alcohol and also sprayed it so that i get all of the dusty particles off so we're ready to go and the paints that i'm going to be using are for the base, I'm going to be using this uh, Duplicolor vinyl dye that I used for just about everything. It's the charcoal gray. For the purple, I still have this custom electric matte purple premium lacquer that I got that I absolutely love. Uh, for the red, it's going to be either this vinyl dye. If it works, it's going to be this vinyl dye. If not... I may wind up using this Rust-Oleum 2X uh, Colonial Red, which last time I used this was actually for Arlene's uh, Honey Lemon Battle Armor. So, I mean, there's plenty of it, so hopefully it will work, but I'm really hoping the vinyl dye will work because, you know, I want to make everything as durable as possible. And, all right, so got some gloves, everything sanded, gonna go put the base coat down and see where it goes from here oh and also i actually did not do anything on here because none of it's really too i mean i could probably run uh some sandpaper across here just to get that bit of shininess down along with the edge there but i don't want to sand this because i don't want to ruin the wood texture on it so we'll see how that goes in a minute and well You'll see the results in a minute. It's going to take me a lot longer to do all this painting. See you in a second. Okay, so quick update here. Obviously, you can see this is all still needs to get vinyl dyed and painted. Uh, you'll notice a lot of red on my glove. No, I am not injured. This is not blood. This is all vinyl dye. It's all dry. The vinyl dye worked, which I'm very happy with. So... Just a little update. This is what's been done so far. I have the stock and handle still being painted because I never sanded it. Because, like I said, I didn't want to lose that wood grain texture. And I didn't want a bald spot where Rival was. So, I more or less went a little, not heavy handed, but I had to do a lot more layers on the side that had Rival painted on it. Because even after three or four light layers where it was starting to really come out red, the black lettering was still showing through very prominently so but on the plus side the red looks like it took there's no flaking on it which i'm very happy with and with the wood texture on this <laughs> i gotta say the red wood just looks awesome and also on the front piece the barrel shroud it looks amazing and i even got the safety switch done so once the stock is done, I'm going to switch gears and go to the gray vinyl, vinyl die. And also, yes, this is actually a second uh, bin that I'm putting all the painted stuff in. This way it doesn't get mixed up with the internal stuff. But I still have to do the gray vinyl die. And, once, and vinyl die dries very quickly. So I'll be able to get that done. And then once, that's all, once all the gray is done, because I want to put gray on the highlighter yellow pieces first... Um, I'm going to hit that with the purple lacquer 
and all of it is drying quickly but I'm going to let it sit overnight just to be on the safe side and make sure everything cures properly so this won't get done until tomorrow however I'll show you everything once all the paint is on everything so I'll see you in a minute okay so a quick little you know snapshot of how it's coming out so far it's looking really really good the red is really going to pop next to the uh the charcoal gray and i'm still going to let this cure overnight but just with the purple just here alone oh man it it's looking good it's this is going to be on par with how my takedown came out and i'm very excited about that so i'm going to go finish up painting everything and you're going to see well actually no next will be after once everything is painted uh next is going to be reassembly obviously and also uh switching out the springs and all that stuff which i'll show you how it's the easiest way it's done because i'm sure other people have done it but this way you can all see it on one of my videos so there it is but let me go finish painting this up because i'm getting very very excited about how good this is starting to come out okay so the paint is all done and i have to say it looks really really good uh the lacquer is super good the all the vinyl dye took very nicely and especially the red which i'm very happy with that that took properly so now it is time to reassemble this so i already put the trigger switch back in because i figured it would be the easiest part Now, this is honestly the easiest way to ever reassemble a takedown Saturn Kronos is pre-compress the spring into the catch and just put it off to the side. Don't touch it. Don't touch the catch thing. That basically will go in last. Because with it out pre-compressed, it's, it's just going to explode. We're reassembled. This is the safety switch. I'm leaving that out because I don't need it. And all we have to do now is pray that this goes on fine. And it should, let's hope, come on. Okay, so the paint's causing a little bit of issue just sticking up here, but everything should be fine. I'm going to button this up and then we'll give the FPS reading on how well this is now doing. Okay, so the Saturn is now complete and 
I apologize because this it's coming out probably a little later than I had hoped, but unfortunately due to life, liberty, pursuit of happiness and other, you know, excuses, uh, it's, I haven't been able to actually get a chance to actually film the, this part of the video until now. Um, I did have the FPS readings for this, uh, recorded. However, due to technical difficulties, uh, part of the footage was lost. So I apologize for that. I do still have the numbers, which will be going here. So I got to say the, I don't want to say I'm disappointed that this isn't hitting the 130 average that I was really hoping for because it's still hitting pretty damn good. I mean, it's over 30 FPS of what I think the Saturn was, uh, was hitting stock. So, I mean, that's really good. And if this is what I'm thinking of running next year or possibly running next year at end war, uh, this definitely falls under the cap. So, I mean, this will definitely be something that I can use. So there's that now just to go over how all the aesthetics came came out and actually come together i have to say this thing is i don't want to say it's better than i had hoped because this is exactly what i kind of pictured and i can't be happier than that so my the one thing that i was just completely over the moon about was the way the red came out and the the trigger came out good the wood the pump grip and the stock and handle that came out really really good and while i think i had mentioned it earlier earlier in the video i had to do a lot more coats of red on this side of the stock because the the rival logo just wasn't getting covered the black just kind of kept seeping through but i mean even still all that detail is still there and it just looks so good because i was able to get it covered i was able to get the color i wanted on it and i was able to retain all of that beautiful detail without losing anything and i am just really stoked about that uh same thing with the pump grip the pump grip has no loss of detail it still has that really nice wood texture on it and I have to say one other thing that I was really, really kind of impressed with was how well the front of this came out because I'm glad I made the decision to do this red because if I did, if I had left the orange, I think it would have been too distracting to the rest of this. Whereas here, it complements the front orange really nice. And the fact that even though it's not a, you know, it's all orange, but for the fact that the red complements the orange so well, I think it's it's still a really good, safe blaster. Um, so I'm just really happy with that. And for those wondering about the uh, durability of the lacquer paint that I use, this is, I'll be honest, this has been completed for a couple of weeks now. And I've played around with it in the garage, firing off one or two here in the shop. And especially sunday night i there's a very noisy crick and i didn't know where it was and i unloaded probably a, a fully loaded saturn trying to get it and i was firing pretty fast and you can see there there is no damage to the paint whatsoever and i have to say i I can't be happier than that. So, I mean, I know this is now going to be adorable, good primary to definitely, you know, obviously not treat like crap, but, you know, it, it can take a bump or two. So, I'm very happy with that. So, that's where I'm going to end it for uh, the Saturn mod. So, okay, sorry to do this, guys. I'm sneaking a small little, hey, this is what's going to be coming hopefully soon on the channel announcement here. So, me and Arlene have been, you know, dealing with life stuff as always. And I think how mostly everyone has been dealing with stuff. But I want to just let you know what to what we're going to be, what we have been or are working on currently or will be working on currently. 
Uh, I have a couple of props that I actually want to be working on or and will be working on. Uh, one is going to be Destiny themed. Another one is going to be Warhammer 40k themed. And the idea for that one actually came from a viewer over on my friend George's channel where me, him, and our friend Chelsea are currently doing a series called Introducing Friends to Warhammer 40k. And it's really fun. I, If you're interested in 40k or a fan of 40k, I honestly, I would recommend it. Uh, links are down in the description. Link for his channel is going to be down in the description below. And I also still know I'm work. I have plans for my Nexus. I have a part already coming in for it. I still have a kit that I need to get ordered for it. I still also have to figure out exactly how I want to paint this up or maybe even actually change direction and maybe not paint it. I don't know. I haven't decided what I want to do with it aesthetically yet. I know what I want to do with it internally. It's just, I want, I want the aesthetics to be really, really crisp and nice on this one. So I'm taking, I'm really, really taking my time and planning this one out. Uh, I know Arlene has a couple of things on her plate that she's going to be working on and will be filming in the coming future. Uh, also on my end, uh, just, you know, bringing it back. Uh, I have some commission work coming my way. Yay. So that's going to be coming hopefully again, sooner than later. And some of the things that are getting sent to me to be worked on, I've never actually been able to review on the channel before. So I'm actually really looking forward to getting that stuff because then that gives me not just the commission work to do, but also I will be able to do some review videos for you guys. So hopefully that will be also really fun because again, it's stuff I've not actually done on this channel, which is a lot, but anyway, I digress. So, okay, that's it. Announcements over. So anyway, that is now actually it for this video. Thank you all very much. If you've stuck it out, not only just for that announcement, but also to the end of the video. Thank you so much. And as always, if you enjoyed the video here and the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Saturn or if you've modded a Saturn, what have you done to it? Because I'm curious on it because I want to know and I like reading comments. And oh, don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. And again, thank you all very much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Later.